Hello, I'm Rashmi Bandari and today I've got Nathaniel with me. Hello, Nathaniel. Hello. So, Nathaniel is a CS student computer science and he has cleared TCS code beta. Okay. He has also written NQT and we are waiting for the results. Uh, but uh, Nathaniel, so we are talking about TCS code beta today. So, Nathaniel, how was it for you? I mean, what was the whole process about code beta? Code beta was a great experience, ma'am. It's basically just a coding competition, uh, huh. quite a long one. And the process was really good. Okay. So do you remember, this happened at the end of the third year, right? Yeah. Or did you, which, when was the, uh, which month do you remember? I think we were sending mails around June, July, I'm not very sure. Yes, around July or August, uh -huh. if I'm right. Okay. So, uh, so what was the idea? I mean, did, every, uh, did everyone register? Because actually it is open to all branches and there is no percentage cut off. Okay, so it's open to everyone. Whereas, you know, for the TCS, a regular exam, you have to have a certain percentage. So, uh, Nathaniel, how was it? I mean, did everyone register? Do you know or do you feel the very few people registered for this? Actually, a lot more people could have registered, ma'am, because there was no uh, eligibility, like you should be of CS branch or IS branch and there's no percentage cut off. So like, yeah. yeah, so anyone could write. That's right. You don't have to have like 8 C GPA to write it or anything. It's basically just a coding So problem. you could have a 5 C GPA, you could have a backlog also. Yes, ma'am. You could have a backlog and you could still you write. You could still write it. Yeah. They just want you to take part in the coding competition. All, All right. right. So, uh, Nathaniel, could you just tell how was it? I mean, what are the, uh, uh, what did they ask? What, how, uh, the whole process? So the process, uh, the contest consisted of six questions. And these six questions, uh, for all of them together, you had six hours to write it, which is a lot of time. And uh, it, I think they had given us a whole day and you could start it whenever you wanted. But after you start it, you have six hours to answer all six questions. I did not answer all six of them because I had started quite late, to be honest. I was busy that day. But um, yeah, for each question, if, even if you are able to answer one, it's actually really helpful. I answered around two or three of them. And uh, the shortlisting, I believe, was based, in our college at least, it was based on at least, uh, if you could solve at least one of these code beta questions. Okay, so out of six you attended only two or three, you're, you're not even sure how many you attended. So maybe two and a half or something like that, or yeah. three. Yes ma'am, I, I think I had attempted three, but okay. I had like partial output for the last one. All right, so even after three, you, you know, only three and then even if maybe one or two is right, you could have, you still have a chance. Yes ma'am, I believe even if you answer one of them correctly, they'll still shortlist you. Uh, at least in this college they've done that. This time. Okay, so anyway, it's a pan India thing, so you know, I yeah. think everywhere they would have considered the same thing. So, what were the coding questions? Were they very difficult, or how was it? Uh, how would you range it? Actually, the questions, in my opinion, they were lengthy. They were very lengthy, but they weren't that tough. They were like, they could be broken down into smaller, simpler uh, problems. For example, uh, one of the questions, uh, yeah, it, it wasn't a complex uh, question as, as such. You had to solve like one part of the problem and then using that you could solve the second part of the problem. It would take some time but actually if you if you have a strong basis in programming, you, you can easily get uh, trust me. Okay. Nathaniel, can you remember uh, the question a little bit or whatever so that you know that they get an idea, uh, the uh, students get an idea as to how it was? Um, one of the questions I had, I don't remember the specific details but it was uh, something like where we had to uh, take the input from the user and Based on the input, we just have to add stuff to our shopping cart and then remove it from our shopping cart. And you just have to, it's in, it all comes down to just reading the keyword of the uh, input that's put by the user. Okay. So this is something when, where, where do you learn this sort of coding? In the second year, third year, or, uh, or you learn it in the college or do you learn it by yourself? So in the second year itself, you, ha you get a basis with data structures and uh, at least for me because I'm a computer science student. But you don't need any of that, ma'am. Actually, uh -huh. you, if you start coding online, go to uh, maybe hackerank.com, all those websites, if, and you just start coding, you'll have at least a basis. And okay. using that, you can easily solve the problems. Trust me. You just have to, like, persevere a bit. All right. It. Okay. So it's not complex at all. If a student is really keen, if they spend a little bit of time, so you're saying Hacker Rank, is it? Hacker so Rank. Hacker Rank, uh, Hacker Earth, all these coding platforms oh. are uh, really helpful. So when did you start using these platforms? I had actually only started using it in my first year for college, but I had a basis when I did my 11th and 12th in computer science. All right. And uh, Nathaniel, you're also part of the Sayadri open source community. You have a t-shirt. Yeah, SOSC. So did that help you? I mean, what do you do, do in that? Oh, Sayadri open source community actually helped me majorly, especially during the interviews. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are basically an open source community that uh, fosters the open source ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So um, 
I get the chance to talk to people who are really passionate about coding and other technical fields. Mm -hmm. So this helped me a lot actually because because of that I have exposure to each different domain mm -hmm. of technology. And during my interviews, it was very helpful because uh, they had asked me questions from different domains also. Mm -hmm. But then they had also asked me about my college life and what I did during my college life. And thanks to SOSC, I was able to say that I conducted workshops for this event. I uh, attended these talks and all such stuff like that. Okay. So now, how was the interview? What did they ask? So the interview was actually, uh, it went very smoothly. They had three panelists. And by the way, uh, directly after getting shortlisted for Code Vita, Directly they'll put you in the interview. Okay, there's no time. Uh, not exactly like that. Huh. I mean like uh, there's no test or anything. Okay, there's no intermediate test. Oh, test. Yeah. They'll directly take you for the interview and then based on the interview, they'll give you a job offer. Okay, so how was the interview? So yeah. panel is it tough? I mean when you have three? They were actually very nice to me. Huh? Huh. So it was a good experience. The, uh, th there was one t uh, technical uh, uh, representative, one from the management side and one HR. Mm -hmm. So the uh, first person, uh, first sir told me, I mean, uh, he asked me questions based on, uh, he just had a conversation with me about what my favorite programming languages were. And I had mentioned I liked uh, Python, JavaScript, Java. So he uh, picked Python from that and kept asking me questions from Python. Mm -hmm. Then he asked me what I like building. I told him I like building websites, I like designing, stuff like that. And using that, uh, he started asking me questions related to that. So he asked me some questions related to Python. Mm -hmm. He asked me uh, uh, so, some data science related questions because uh, I think that was his speciality. Mm -hmm. And I, I was able to answer. But, but the first questions he asked me were like really simple. What you would learn in second year. Like what's the difference between an object and a class and uh, stuff like that. But then slowly he started easing into the more uh, tougher questions. Like, Do you remember sort of a questions uh, that they were asking? Any? So as I said, object and class difference. Huh. Then, um, uh, in the end, he started asking me uh, some data science related questions like, um, what are the steps you do, you perform on the data before you feed it to a model, and uh, questions like that, which are not that tough to be honest. But yeah. you just have to have the exposure to that domain, and you would actually understand. Yeah, and I think it all depends upon what you are saying, right? Your interests and so the questions are actually get modified to that. Yeah. But I think you just get a general idea. If you say this, you know, so they start from the basics and then they go up to yes. the depth, uh, in depth. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, and uh, anything specific that you rem remember? Uh, how long was your interview? And anything specific that you remember uh, which you'd like to share? Uh, I think my interview was around 40 minutes or so, 30, 30 minutes maybe. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, so uh, the management uh, representative asked me uh, questions which were uh, more deeper than that. It was, he asked me, how would you measure the value of your website? Mm -hmm. And this is one of the questions I got stuck on, to be honest, mm -hmm. because it's not just any technical question. It's a big picture kind of question. Yeah. So I'd met, I told him that uh, it's probably based on the number of users, their uh, perception of the website, if they think it's... Uh, how it brands the company as such. But he wasn't exactly satisfied with that, so I'm not exactly sure how I could have done better in that uh, question as such. But uh, it, it was good overall. All right. And so after this, uh, so uh, what happens? Like you, you get an offer uh, with the TCS um, code beta, you get an offer, right? Yes. And uh, so how is it? I mean, and, and then you have also written NQT, isn't it? And so you're now eligible to write uh, the TCS digital. Uh, it, um, while writing Code Vita itself, huh. based on the interview, they have a chance of uh, shortlisting you for digital as well. But it's uh, it's quite hard. But they, they'll also give you a second chance. I, for example, I got selected for the Ninja offer. Huh. And the Ninja offer is uh, approximately 3.36 lakh plus a 60,000 joining bonus. But what they've told us is that while writing uh, NQT, during the interviews, we have a higher chance compared to other participants of nailing the digital offer. All right. And the digital offer is worth 7 lakhs. All right. So, uh, had you, uh, I mean, in this itself, TCS NQT, you could have actually gone to the digital also straight away. Yes, ma'am. That's a possibility, although it is quite tough. All right. All right. But now, you anyway, have you have written any, and he's also written the national qualifier. We are waiting for the uh, yeah, results. Right. And so, uh, if you uh, clear that, and then you uh, you get a ninja offer, then you're again eligible to write the, uh, go for the digital because of your uh, NQT. Uh, sorry, code beta. Yes, ma'am. Uh, based on that, uh, 
on the NQ NQT and then the, the subsequent, subsequent interview that they're going to conduct, they can uh, shortlist me for the for the digital offer. Yeah. So your chances for the digital is now higher just because you've written CCS code beta. Just because I've written code beta, it's much higher. Yeah. Yes. So uh, actually, students, you know, uh, it is open even to the first years, second years, and third years. So people miss out, miss it out. So actually, had you written uh, maybe CCS uh, code beta in the first year, you'd have been more prepared when it came to the second year. Yes, I'm actually. Yeah, and then when you write in the third year and the final year, I think you are really, really, uh, you are, you at least know what's going to happen. Yes, yeah. So I think this is one thing which your students should seriously follow because people think that, you know, it's all happening in the final year, it's happening in the third year. But I think every student who's watching this, you know, you should be in touch with your placement department, check the mails and, um, uh, you know, know about these opportunities. Anyway, we will be updating it whenever it happens. But uh, I think this is very important. And uh, comparing to the code beta and the NQT, which did you find tough? Um, since I have a strong basis in coding, I found code beta much easier. Much easier. Much so, easier. So national qualifier was tougher. Yes, ma'am. And the competition for national qualifiers is much more. Like code beta, yeah. you, you don't have that much competition. Yeah, because people don't even apply. Yeah, ma'am. That's the thing. Yeah. They don't take it seriously. They don't even uh, look at it or register for it. Yeah. But actually, it's a very good opportunity, especially since there's no elig eligibility criteria. If you have a low CGPA, just go for it. There's no point. There's no loss. Yeah. Huh? And any tips finally, uh, Nathaniel, for the juniors or anyone who's watching this, how do they prepare? Uh, my tips for the juniors would be um, attend uh, college workshops which are tech related, S uh, start coding, just get started, just have a basis. Once you have that basis, you can achieve a lot more than you think. Because people get, just have this mindset where people are just, other people are just coders and I can't do it. But actually, if you just get started, you're going to be able to slowly work your way up there. And uh, within one year, I'm sure you can achieve a lot more than people say in just coding. You can start, if you just start uh, with your basic Hello World program today, tomorrow I can build maybe a simple calculator. In a week, maybe I'll, I'll be able to build a website if you really try hard enough. It's not that hard, trust me. Okay. Thank you so much and wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Yeah, and it's bye from both of us.